welcome to Purchase Reviews. Today I'll show you how to easily use the Auto Laser Master 2 to engrave bamboo or wooden lids. There are lots of videos on how to put this laser together, so if you haven't got to this point, I'll leave some links to those. The setup is relatively easy, and I believe that anyone can do it, regardless of having any experience. One of the main things when setting up this laser is to make sure that the bands are tight. Otherwise the burnt images or logos are not going to be clear and the text will be blurred and all over the place. The laser comes with this metal cylinder which is used to set the correct height of the laser. The cylinder sits on top of the item you want to burn and needs to meet flush with the housing like this. After setting up, download Lightburn. This is a program that lets you import images to burn and also gives you many different options depending on the project you're doing. Zoom in with your mouse so you can see the grid pattern. To import an image to burn, select File, scroll down and click Import. Here's one of my logos, saved as a PNG file, which I'll open up for today's burn. Now measure your lid. In this case, the measurements are 65mm by 65mm. Now go to the width column up the top left of the screen and type in 65mm. The program will automatically set 65mm for the height also. Now go to Edit and scroll down to Device Settings and make sure that the Enable Laser Fire button is turned on. Click OK and then at the top of the menu click on Window. The default layout will appear where you can arrange what you want to view on the main screen by checking or unchecking. I'll just be sticking with the default views for this video. In Cuts and Layers, underneath where it says Mode, double click Image. Set Speed at 1000, Max Power at 45, Min Power at 10, and also ensure that the Image Mode is set to Jarvis. Then click OK. Now save and close the Lightburn program. This has to be done or else the laser framing tool won't work. Reopen, go to File and open Recent Project. Now zoom in with your mouse so you can see the image. Connect the USB cable from your laser to the computer. Flick on the mains power and then hold the laser power button to turn on. To find the laser, click on Devices and then Find My Laser. You'll know if the laser is connected. It will appear on the screen under the title Laser as being either ready or disconnected. For a darker burn without having to increase the laser's power, add 3 tablespoons of baking soda to 500ml of water in a spray bottle. Give the lid a quick sand with some fine grit sandpaper to remove any varnish or chemicals that might get in the way of a good burn. Spray the lid with baking soda mix and then wipe it down. To activate the laser tracing or framing, press the shift key while clicking on the square or circle frame. This will then activate the laser so you can centre your lid to the right position before burning. Now once you're done centering up the lid, push the start button on your computer to start the burn. Now remember to use your safety glasses so you're not damaging your eyes and have plenty of ventilation handy so you're not breathing any toxic fumes. 
There are also laser boxes available that trap the fumes. I'll leave some links below on where you can find them along with this particular laser and other auto laser products. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it will give you some confidence to try out your own laser engraving project. Consider liking and subscribing for more reviews and how-to videos and until next time, thanks for visiting Purchase Reviews and happy engraving!